In this video, I'm gonna share three hair growth hacks that you probably aren't thinking about right now. This is gonna be three simple tricks that essentially anyone who wants thicker, healthier hair should try out. And there's no downside to trying these. And for many people, these three hacks will make a visible difference to their hair growth and their hair thickness. And if you have visible hair loss, doing all three of these is practically a necessity so that you cover your bases. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. Number one is vitamin D. Though we call it a vitamin, this amazing compound is more accurately described as a hormone. You see, by vitamins, we generally refer to substances that our body can't naturally produce and which it needs in minuscule quantities. Vitamin D, on the other hand, is naturally produced when ultraviolet radiation from the sun impacts our skin. And we require it in relatively massive quantities because the vitamin D receptor is distributed all over our body and has been found to affect over a thousand different genes. But unfortunately, due to our lifestyle that's increasingly indoors, most people living in Europe and North America are severely deficient, especially during the winter. And one of the organs that vitamin D affects is the hair follicle. You see, the vitamin D receptor is widely found in the scalp skin and various parts of the hair follicle, including the dermal papilla cells that are the command center of the hair follicle itself. It therefore plays a crucial role in the hair growth cycle by activating specific genes that regulate the follicle's growth and differentiation. Accordingly, when applied to the scalp skin in vitro, vitamin D has been shown to promote follicle maturation and stimulate new hair growth. On the flip side, people with a rare genetic disease that leaves them without a functional vitamin D receptor have no hairs whatsoever on their body, a condition called alopecia totalis. Vitamin D levels also tend to be notorious low in both men and women with hair loss. This includes not only pattern hair loss, but other types of hair loss like telogen effluvium or alopecia areata. For example, a recent study recruited a sample of 50 young men under the age of 30 diagnosed with androgenetic alopecia. They were compared against a control sample of men with healthy hair who are otherwise similar in age and socioeconomic status. The men in the AGA group had an average over 30% lower serum vitamin D levels. 86% of these men were classed as vitamin D deficient compared to only 14% in the control group. Quite an amazing statistic. So results like this suggest there is a strong link between vitamin D and hair loss. It's looking increasingly likely that for some people at least, vitamin D deficiency is a causal factor or at the very least a cofactor in the development of their hair loss. If you are one of these people, then supplementing with vitamin D might be one of the safest, quickest and most cost-effective ways to start reversing your hair's poor health. And of course, vitamin D supplements cost next to nothing and are available without a prescription in most countries. When it comes to the results of your blood test, a figure lower than 20 to 25 nanograms per milliliter indicates a deficiency. Especially if you're dealing with hair loss, you should be aiming for a value at least over 50. So get outside and get your skin in the sun. And if you can't do that, make sure you take a supplement. Okay, next up, our number two hair hack is microneedling without minoxidil. So we probably all know about the combination of daily topical minoxidil and weekly microneedling. It quickly became one of the most popular treatments on hair loss forums like Reddit, and for good reason. This particular combination has been shown to produce regrowth that is roughly three and a half times higher than minoxidil on its own. Part of the reason for this is the countless small holes that the derma roller makes in your skin that allow the minoxidil to penetrate better. This is important because poor absorption is actually one of minoxidil's greatest weaknesses, at least with the original formulations. As a quick side note, if you haven't already checked out our Max Oxidil Hair Growth Serum, I've linked it in the description below. It's like minoxidil, but with maximum power. So back to our topic, what many guys with hair loss don't realize is that microneedling can also work as a standalone therapy without any minoxidil. The frequency is once weekly for the first three to four months, reducing to once every two to three weeks in the maintenance phase. So if you can't be bothered with the hassle of daily minoxidil, 
or if you just don't want to be putting chemicals on your head, microneedling is a good standalone option. It's low effort, chemical free and costs next to nothing. And does it work? You bet. You see, the microneedling by itself can be enough to stimulate some dormant follicles back into life. It does this in two ways. Firstly, by breaking down some of the disorganized collagen deposits that tend to form around the miniaturizing hair follicle. This allows new, healthy, better organized collagen to take its place, improving the follicle's immediate environment. Microneedling also promotes the skin to secrete growth factors like platelet-derived growth factor, PDGF, and vascular endothelial growth factor, VEGF. These are messenger proteins that promote the formation of new blood vessels, increasing the blood supply into the balding areas. With regards to the effectiveness, one study found that standalone microneedling produced roughly 11 new hairs per centimeter squared. This places it between minoxidil and finasteride in terms of effectiveness. The same study also found that microneedling increases the average hair shaft diameter, giving, well, thicker hair. Not at all bad for a treatment that will only take a few minutes of your time every other week. But there is a downside that we don't really know how effective microneedling is in the long term. So we'll keep our eye out for a long-term microneedling study. Okay, on to number three, and that is scalp massages. Earlier we touched on how microneedling promotes the release of growth factors, which in turn signal the creation of new blood vessels. This is important because we've known, at least since the 1980s, that blood flow is severely compromised in balding scalps, up to two and a half times lower than that of men with healthy hair. Part of the reason for this impairment might be as the follicle miniaturizes, the space around them gradually fills with this abnormal deposition of collagen. Eventually, this collagen hardens and turns into microscopic scar tissue, which scientists call fibrosis. The fibrosis squeezes on the vessels, supplying the follicles, limiting the blood they receive, and accelerating their demise. Eventually, the follicles shrink to nothing, and the space they previously occupied is replaced with fibrotic tissue. The pinching, squeezing, and pressing motion of scalp massages helps to gradually break down the fibrosis, just like in microneedling, helping to restore a healthy scalp. But the effects go deeper than just that. A groundbreaking 2016 study out of Korea recruited nine young men without any signs of hair loss. The researchers wanted to see the effects of daily scalp massages on healthy scalp and hair and the results were startling. The diameter of the participants' hair shafts increased by 8%, meaning they literally grew thicker hair. And we know that part of the reason for this improvement is the mechanical stimulation of the scalp that changes the genetic expression of hair follicle cells. On average, around 70% of men with AGA who massage with their hands will stabilize and even partially reverse their hair loss. The one downside is that to see results, you'll need to massage for an average of 36 hours. Massaging for such a long time can get incredibly boring and tedious. Fortunately, there's a lazier and at the same time, even more effective option than massaging with your hands. The best of these options is the fully automated hands-free grow band, which does all the massaging for you. The grow band simply gives you a fully customizable, targeted scalp massage exactly how you want it. So you can basically sit back and let the grow band do all the hard work while you go about your daily routine. Also, because the grow band massages the entire scalp simultaneously, you can expect to see much quicker results compared to just using your hands. So if the idea of scalp massages appeals to you, then the grow band is a very good way to go. Because A, it allows you to stick to the treatment, and B, because it gets faster, better results. Okay, that's our top three hair hacks. If you do have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. I will personally make sure I answer all the good questions. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.